Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. Now before the video begins, I just thought I'd give another shout out to the partnership uh, Twitch and uh, League of Legends have got going. So in the description down below, there's a link that you can get a free Twitch Prime trial, or if you've already got Twitch Prime, and then you can redeem yourself one of these. Uh, in this announcement, I just thought I may as well show what you can get. Just to kind of uh, make the point clear, I do own everything on this account, so I'm going to get a permanent that I already own. But uh, you'll obviously get a skin that you don't own and stuff like that. If I, if I was smart, I probably should wait and hold this capsule until new skins come out. But I'm not going to. And yes, I'm going to switch that. It is completely free. And if you cancel your Twitch Prime subscription and all that and you just do the trial, you get to keep this. And if you want to support what I do, when you sign up to those services for free, you can throw a Twitch Prime sub at me also for free. And even if you cancel it, I still keep the benefit. You still keep the skin. So yeah, check it out. But we're going to get ourselves. So we got a permanent Vandal Twitch. A Golden Goal Ward and a Lupin Battle Axe. Oh, that's pretty actually cool. Wow. Um, so you get all that for free. That's kind of cool. Um, obviously, as I said, I own everything on this account. So I just have it there. But you guys will actually get just get given that skin permanently for free. And again, even if you cancel your Twitch Prime after you signed up for the trial, you get to keep that stuff. You get to sub for me or whoever you want for free. So yeah, check it out. It'll be in the description, all the details. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron Diamond Return, Silver 1, 85 LP. Last episode, I did make a mistake and I didn't update that stuff over there, but it is now 100% up to date. Uh, we're going to attempt to do Trindamir again. So we're going to ban Teemo because obviously that is the counter. Uh, yo, it's Terry, 040102. Uh, Welcome, man. Remember, there is the still the uh, free loot um, happening with Twitch Prime. And League of Legends, you know, sign up to Twitch Prime for free, link your account, get that free loot, cancel your uh, trial if you want to. That's, that's you know, you can do that and you get to keep the loot. And feel free to use your Twitch Prime on a certain person called Huzzy Games. Uh, no bias, you know, just saying. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we are playing probably Trindamir. Tanky jungle top, please. <laughs> Hecarim and Trindamir. Mm. Mm. Probably not. Uh, Kogulin. Thanks so much, dude. Uh, but yeah, just also to announce, you'll see down there, um, we are going to be doing a 1v1 day uh, if we manage to get to 750 Twitch subscribers. Some people will say, Huzz, what happened to the subscribers? Um, basically, we did obviously that goal over the January period, and I knew the subscriber numbers were going to drop after that, and I'm completely fine with it, you know. To be over 600 to me is fantastic, and my goal for 2019 was hit 1,000 Twitch subscribers once. We, we've already done that numerous times in 2019, so it's fine. Really? Oh, can I even play Trindamir into Kennen? Is that a good idea, or is that a really bad idea? I swear, like, I'm trying to play Trindamir. I've never played him on the channel before, but then he got, he got banned last game, and now... This game, there's a Kennen, and I'm pretty damn sure Kennen is fantastic into Trindamir because you can just keep him away. Oh, brother. Uh, I'm going to check. Let's see. What's the win rate? Wait, there's not enough data? Oh. There's not enough data. Ah. Uh... I don't want to play Trindamir now then. God damn it. I promise I will do it. I promise. But I don't want it to like I've never played Trindamir on the channel before, so I don't want to just randomly do it and it to go terribly. Um what's been donated? Oh yeah, I, I have to get rid of some of these, I think. Um what do we need? Oh, he took Silas. <laughs> I was gonna play Silas. <laughs> Let's see if Aurelia sucks. Fight for the whatever lands. Wait. Best skin. Frost Butte. Alright, so we're doing this. Transformers, robots in disguise. Triumph, Alacrity, and Coupe de Gras. Perfecto. Alright, let's get into the game. We're playing Aurelia in the mid lane. No, top lane. I got it right. All right, welcome to the loading screen. So as you can see, the MMR is increasing every game. Uh, and we're now actually, I think for the first time ever, got a platinum player on our team. So that's a thing. Um, but everyone's gold 
apart from me and the plat player. This person's unranked but was silver last season, so there you go. So this person has played 47 games, has played four on Kedden, so it doesn't seem terribly, but he's also gone the wrong rune. Uh, Kleptomancy is the rune to go 100% nowadays. Um, but yeah, so the Draven's got a pretty good win rate, pretty good win rate. Overall, neg wow, he's already played 288 games, 185, 160, oh my god. Um, that's a lot of games. But, uh, yeah, we should be fine in today's game. Again, I just got to survive, like, the really early game against a Kennen, and then we'll outscale. There's a pattern emerging of the champions that I play. I wonder, is, I'm going to check if there's duos, because it's always worth checking. Like, last game, the Garen game was weird. They didn't use their duo advantage, like, at all. Um, right. Also, just as a, a quick mention of something a little bit random, uh, some people may know that I play World of Warcraft still, and it's my game that I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a player of the game, that's why you're not seeing any content of it. Uh, if you are somebody that wants to play WoW, even if you're just a social person, feel free to... I'm going to guess it's the Draven. Uh, feel free to join my guild if you just want to play as a casual. That's fine. We are we are opening up the guild to more social people. Um, but yeah. Minions have spawned. But yeah, just join my Discord server for more information. There's a World of Warcraft chat that you can ask about it in there. Uh, Someone's saying, is quarterback on Mac yet? Uh, considering League of Legends is stopping on Mac, uh, no. But yeah, if you are somebody that plays League on Mac, I would very much recommend getting not a Mac. Because Riot is stopping support from Mac. And that means eventually the build will be so far out of date that League will just stop working on Mac. Um, right. <laughs> so yeah, Electrocute Cannon. Weird. So I just gotta survive early. Level three is when I actually can start doing a lot more to this guy. Annoyingly. That was my bad. I shouldn't be walking into like open gaps like that. That's just asking to get hit. Hecarim ganking? No. Oh my god, I missed that. Oh, you now pinged a gank? Oh, I mucked up my stun. Okay, good. He didn't go for it. There's so much farm. Yeah, my W... This is actually a pretty bad matchup, I just thought. Because my W doesn't reduce damage for AP. It only reduces AD damage nowadays. That's why you don't see Aurelia mid anymore. And I'm against an AP champion in top lane. So this is pretty bad. I think we'll be okay, but... It's just... Oh, really? Cannon, please. Wouldn't be a huzzy video without... Mucking up a cannon. Ooh, that was really close. He had to flash that, otherwise he was probably dead. Because my stun was going to land. Just got to scale, baby. Silas is dead, baby. Again, I still wouldn't play Silas, especially if you're in lower rating. I just don't think it's worth for the average player to pick it up at all at the moment. It's a bit too tricky. Gotta hold my teleport. Let that push back to me. Hmm. LeBlanc, a cannon, a duo. Okay. 
I swear in every game we're against duo of some type. Like, God. Again, people know I don't like duoing. Like if Riot came out and said we're getting rid of duo queue and we're going to make it purely solo queue, I'd be pretty happy about that. Because like there are people, I remember there was that guy, he's in the UK scene, he's a really good support player, but he only ever got challenger by duoing. And it was like, eh, you know, are you a challenger player or are you just kind of duoing? And then he took up a challenge to go, I'm not duoing to get challenger at all. And it took him a lot longer, obviously, but he did it and he was like, oh my god, it was way more satisfying. Which it obviously go is going to be. Doing something yourself versus someone helping you is very different. I mucked that up. Because I think Riot kind of underestimated the, the direction of the game that people want the game to go. Riot are trying to make the game more team orientated. I think people don't want that. People, I think people want more solo orientated. Silas, like, willingly go under tower, then. Also, he's gone after shock Silas. Oh, my God. Place how many... How many deaths is this guy going to have? Place your bets now. He, like, yeah, that was nothing to do with Hecarim. The Silas legit went under tower by himself. So, Twitch chat. 8, 15, 10, 12. 8 seems quite... 7, 0, 8 is seeming to be the common. What the hell? Why are they fighting in a 2v1? What are you guys doing? Like, they could walk up here, by the way. I think Silas has got that. No, he blocked it. Press W on anything. Oh, God, he's so bad. No. Again, probably should just ban Silas to avoid your own team playing it. The Yasuo effect. Flash Gordon. Thank you very much, dude. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. <laughs> nah, you don't go Aftershock if you know what you're doing on Silas, pretty much. In solo queue. Like, there'll be some pro going, ah, they're doing pro Silas in Korea. Pro plays different. Um, you need a snowball on that champion to be effective. So going Aftershock is kind of just admitting you don't want to snowball. The Asso effect? Yeah, the Asso effect is when you ban a champion so your own team doesn't play it. It's nothing to do with stopping the enemy team play it. Uh, Luca something. Thanks so much, dude. What was that about? Okay, we've outscaled him in the 1v1 already. That's a good sign. That was- wait, what? My Q didn't do enough damage to kill that then? That's a feels bad. Uh, too many puns, that's much, dude. Hey, Hecker wanted that minion, man. So, like, okay, you can have it, buddy. Ahaha! This was the day that you almost caught Torelia. Still haven't used teleport because I'm kind of holding out for like a bot lane play. What is with my team of walking into towers? Team, tower bad. Avoid tower. Bye, Zyra. Boom! Oh, I mucked that up. Damn it. That was a kill if I didn't muck that up. <clears throat> I 
could go for that, but it's risky. It's a lot less risky if I've got ultimate. Ooh, he doesn't have E. The question is, should I even be looking to dive? Is that too risky in this game? Or do I need to dive when I know I outscale? Oh, I mucked that up. I walked out of the bush. I'm pretty sure if he missed that cue, then he would have walked near me. Bye. <laughs> that was really random. I knew LeBlanc was top lane because the way that Kenan was acting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't look. Don't look! Don't look! That didn't happen. Oh my god, I missed everything. Oh, that did hit! I would have gone for that if I thought that was going to hit. No! I can't believe that. I mucked that up so badly. Jesus Christ. Oh. Rip. Keep mucking up that Q occasionally. Just by smart cast hitting the wrong thing. I should probably go be going for... Oh, wait. Maybe I can get one. Thank you. Okay. Still don't really want to use teleport. Like, I probably could... I obviously haven't used it at all this game, so that means I could have used it earlier, but... Mm. And I also haven't had an opportunity to use it, if I'm honest. What's he building? Is he going Rod of Ages and Revolver? What does Silas steal if he steals LeBlanc? Does he, is it like Karma that you steal just one of his, like, the rotation of abilities? I'm so sad. <laughs> that missed. Really? Oh, I mucked up. I mucked up! Keep mucking up. It's playing really sloppy, man. Nice bot lane and mid. Will soon fall. I want to try and force his teleport if he's got it up. We've got like 10 seconds. Maybe we can get one more plate. I think so. Eh, not bad. Uh, read tea leaf. That's your most, dude. Nice. Oh, is it a draven and all typing? Name a more iconic duo. Oh, wait.
That wasn't worth it. Garen and Bushes? Nah, I think Draven's an old typing is more. That was annoying. I should have just liked that for a blue buff. That was a really dumb death. If he had a damage like electrocute or something, he'd be doing so much more damage. Well, that was a weird chain. My bot lane is never putting vision down. Go oh, Hecarim! He mucked up. He didn't just kill the Kha'Zix. Silas is dead again. Oh my god, my whole team's dead. Hecarim really mucked that up though, holy moly. He had a dead Kha'Zix right there, but he then uh, ulted for the Lucian for some reason. That was bad. But yeah, if my bot lane have vision, you need to get some vision down. Like, I don't have any vision in top lane because in all honesty, I haven't really been needing it. But when my bot lane has been getting ganked quite a lot, they're still not putting vision down. That's very questionable. Uh, Aiden S1471. Thanks so much, dude. Oops. I need back treads if I want to try and 2v1. Because the stun is the thing that will end up killing me. Uh oh. So I think Kennen is just not interested in fighting at all. He's gone pretty passive for a while. Draven's dead. He's not dead. Holy moly. He's gonna play really passive, I just gotta go crazy all in, man. Also, why is Hecarim top lane? Like, why isn't he just helping our bot lane, man? Be way more useful for his time. Silas is dead. Silas is losing to our the enemy AD carry. Oh dear. Scooper, super skadoosh. Nice, nice, dude. Bran just walked into them. What is this, man? What on earth? Yeah, both summoners still up. Oh my god. Horse. A yeah, zero five. Ravens. That was a pointless flash. There just doesn't seem to be much knowledge being used in this game, if you know what I mean. Shut down. 
Really? Got him. Aurelia is still strong, man. What Aurelia nerfs? No, I still do a million damage. Is Aurelia mid still viable? Nah. There's no point playing in mid lane when it's so much weaker than it used to be. Just play it top. That was the fake. Oh, I got bamboozled. Oh, where's my team? No one came with me. Three of them were one shot. Hecran ran away. No. Dude. No one came! No, that's annoying. What am I watching? Uh, Valo Hobbs, thanks so much, dude. Auto attack? No, okay. Auto. No, okay. Jeez. Ah. This might be a little bit too hard. Oh well, it happens. We haven't lost in a few games, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Yeah, sometimes you just get a uh, poop. You know, Abyssal, Mask, Rush, Silas, Mid, for example. Uh... Wait, those are 38 months reset. Thanks so much. Uh, who was it? Life of Kieran. Thanks so much, ma'am. Very old community member. I think I'm just going to go for a split push game because I don't trust my team. Oh my god. He has a Lich Bane? Why does Brand have Lich Bane? What on earth? And Draven's alone again. Ah, cool. Silas is 1v5ing again. Oh my god. Like, I don't think they want to win, man, because, like, they could just legit get carried, but the way they're playing is impossible to carry. The brand's in platinum. Oh. That chain, though. That chain. That chain. Really? That's still latched to me. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I'm going Bulk because it helps me in the 1v1s. Oh my god. Like, what is that? 
why did you have that? <laughs> Again, I never want to be mean, but what is going on? This is just the feels bad, man. Why on earth would you build a Lich Bane on Brand, a champion you really never want to get in auto attack range? If he gets in auto attack range to the enemy team comp, he's dead. Just legit trolling. Silas has never checked if they've got, like, items to d deal with him. Yeah, I think let's just FF this game. My team is just making too many mistakes. Like, way too many. Oh well, it happens. Again, definitely an, a winnable game if my team just like sucked it up and was like, we're not playing well. Let's just like group us forward, don't risk anything and let the Aurelia keep 1v1ing people. But they weren't interested in that. A Zyra abuser. <laughs> You know when you're in low rating when someone says Zyra Abuser. Oh my god. Jesus. These are the type of players that won't look at anything that they're doing that's wrong. And they're like, oh, it was Zyra pick. What are you on about? It's nothing to do with the Zyra pick. Ah... That's the whole team. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Thank you, Super Kadoosh, for gifting us up. Oh, yeah, sorry, I killed the Zyra abuser. Raven's positioning! Is it a LeBlanc abuser now? You know, running into them? Kazakh's abuser. Jesus. Again, I've, I've said to people time and time again, when you're in games like this, it's it's healthy sometimes just to go, all right, the game's done. That's fine. Again, the people that hold on to these games and, like, really try to win, you're just going to end up tilting yourself. Because, like, 2 and 9, 4 and 8, 1 and 9, I'm not tilting myself over this game. Like, it's not worth it. Like, I don't mind having the occasional loss. As I've said, you know, time and time again, 40% of your games are pretty much going to be automatic losses. This is just one of those. Um, we've played quite well this game. Uh, we're nearly 100 farm above my opponent in top lane. But there's... It's just... I don't know. The team just isn't thinking, probably. Well, Lich Bane is definitely not thinking. Um, they're just not allowing me to win the game for them, basically. Which is a bit annoying, because I could literally win them the game, but... Oh, well. I don't even know if I can 1v1 that Lucian, by the way. If I had Bork, I think I'd be able to, but like... He might just end up straight up killing me before I kill him. Yeah, that's actually worth. I got a big shutdown. I can kill him really easily, apparently. God, I just got to mute him. He's a pleb. He's not 1v9 for you permanently being alone. Like, what the hell? Wow. Oh. Oh, Brand's dead again. So they're at, they're having a race, man. They're both on ten deaths. Yeah, if Zyra was like one v fiving, I wouldn't be able to kill her so free. But 
I can kill the whole enemy team as an individual, but again, because of how many mistakes are happening, I'm never giving an opportunity to kill multiple of them. Only like one at a time, which is really annoying. Oh, I pressed that early. I went to, you know when you're like just holding your finger there? I meant to just hold my finger there and then I accidentally just pressed the button. That's what feels bad. I might take that. Oh, look. He's alone again. Oh, that was the right one. Oh, come on. Kind of wasn't expecting Kennen there, but whatever. Someone's saying your base are earlier. I've already kind of accepted the loss, so I don't really care about my base. That's what the LeBlanc is an understanding. some lose some thank you much for gifting i think uh super kadoosh is on his way to gifting five subs so he can donate a pick he's individually picking the people that he's gifting them to so this is the type of game that i kind of wish that my teammates would like find this on youtube and just kind of see how silly like some of the things that they've been doing and like saying Zyra 1v9 and things like that is just you know ridiculously silly because it's n it hasn't been anything to do with like Ooh. it has not been anything to do with like Zyra 1v9ing it's everything to do with my team just playing bad like they've been Draven has permanently been just going alone this game It's like if you didn't do that, and again, if they all they all my if you're wondering what would be if I had control over these four players and I was like, you know, do this, go as four people and don't engage, don't get engaged on, just be there, stand there like lemons and just stop them pushing. And then I'll did deal with the person in the 1v1, and then eventually the enemy team have to come and stop me. When the enemy team have to come and stop me, that's when you guys can push and get other objectives. That it would we would win the game. We'd straight up win the game. That's probably a rage quit. Oh, we surrendered. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, again, sometimes I know people are going to go, How's you could have won that? It's not worth the, me, my, myself trying enough to tilt. Like, if I really tried that game, I probably would have just tilted myself and then... Screw that. Like, the chances of winning were so ridiculously low. Uh, no. All right, so 961, 294 farm. We only lost 13, so it's not a big deal. If we win the next game, I'm pretty sure we'll get in promo. Uh, we, he got 11 deaths tied, 10 deaths on Draven. And then damage done, dealing the uh, most damage in the game. Yep, we beat the LeBlanc in damage done by 100. Uh, just around 100 anyway. But uh, yeah, again, these games happen. And again, I think this is a good example that you could be playing good. I'm happy with how I played. But I know when it was probably just a loss. 
And if I really wanted to try to win this game, like it was unlikely we're ever going to win it with the teammates that we had. So it's like, I just get into the next game. Like it doesn't bother me enough to kind of like tilt myself about it. Um, and I think that's a relatively good attitude to have, to be honest. So yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy it, throw a like on the video. Might do a more Aurelia because she was quite fun. And again, I, that might have been the third or fourth time that I've ever played the new Aurelia. I, I didn't put a lot of time onto her, but she's actually quite fun. More fun than I expected. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.